first have delighted to put it down, accepted the, the game. Um, Ards was scheduled to play us, but they had some issues with some injuries, so they, they, they withdrew, which happens in pre-season, so not, not criticising them, but Portadown stepped down at the last minute. We're delighted to have them, you know, Portadown, good club. Um, they've stepped up into the Premier League, and we knew they'd give us a, a, a good run out here. And it was, it was a good game. So, uh, we started with a the team there, played 60 minutes. We changed most of them after the 60 minute mark, other boys got 30 minutes and we'll likely do the reverse on Saturday with our next fixture. So it's about getting them game minutes at this time. They did that, thought we moved the ball well, both teams had played for us and uh, yeah, I was happy. Happy but not satisfied. Plenty of chances of post created as well and three again different goal scorers. Yeah, look, it's about finding, trying to find a way to play. It's not about systems, it's not about 4-4-2 or 3 3 Three, four, three, four, three, three. It's about your playing style, how you want to play, and that's the thing we're working on now. It's about the communication, the players together. Some players are new, haven't played together. That's about pre-seasons for, and that's what we're doing. And I was happy tonight that there was a lot of good movement there. It looked like the communication was working really well. Breaks down at times because obviously we have some new players, but overall, I'm satisfied with where we are in pre-season, the type of performance that we put in. I don't have too many complaints. Obviously we can pick some of the mistakes, individual errors here or there, but overall as a, a team performance for this point, is sort of a month away from the season starting, I'm, I'm happy with it. In terms of injuries, um, Robbie and obviously Paddy came off there, how, how are they so far? Uh, Robbie had a, rolled his ankle a little bit, took him off as a precaution. Robbie probably could have played, Robbie's a tough lad. Paddy probably could have played on as well. Um, it was an impact from a, the tackle. Uh, Rory Donnelly only played a bit at the end of the game there because we same thing he, he took a knock in the, the game at the weekend so yeah look pre-season you have to not baby players through you have to manage it so we have to manage the situation we managed it glad that everybody got minutes tonight some players got a little bit more than others but overall that that's what pre-season's for we're managing the minutes we're managing the fitness the boys are relatively fit anyway because we come through that cup period so it's not really a fitness issue for us it's more of a communication and playing style issue for, and that's what we're working on at the moment. And I suppose taking away the football side of things uh, was the main thing the fans were back tonight. Um, Brilliant. I'm sure Brilliant. you were glad to hear a few, few claps oh, yeah, and absolutely. few cheers. Good to get be getting a bit of stick again from the, the usual suspects behind the dugout. Um, they didn't look too pretty some of them but I'm glad they're back. Um, great, great, absolutely. Fans need some hope. Fans need a team to cheer on. They've been sitting at home for months and really really happy that we can get people to the Oval again. And I suppose from a club point of view, you know, there was only suppose season ticket holders in tonight. Now that you suppose you'll go back and look at the measures and try and see if you can get squeeze a few more in as the friendlies go on. Yes, it's about steps, you know, it's, it's proven you can do it. And I think that was a successful uh, event tonight. Obviously our health and safety people coordinate with the city councils and any of the bodies that we need to, to meet all the criteria. But I think that trial run tonight, if all went well, all was successful, then we can in increase the capacity here. And that's what it's about. I mean, our, our, our capacity here is around six and a half thousand. So I think comfortably we could accommodate more, but it's not about just trying to get fans in. It's trying to do the right thing at the right time with the health and safety of our fans as a big priority, as well as the players.